In this buy bit tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to buy crypto on Bybit and I will show you how to use the Bybit website. In this Bybit tutorial, I'll also show you how to create an account on Bybit, how to secure your Bybit account, how to deposit on Bybit, how to buy and sell crypto on Bybit, how to withdraw crypto from Bybit and how to cash out and withdraw your money from Bybit to a bank account. I have put the timestamps in the description below, but I recommend you watch until the end as there's lots of important information you don't want to miss out on. Now, before we get stuck in, I must be clear that nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you want financial advice, you should seek a suitably licensed professional. Crypto is a high risk asset and your capital is at risk. Also, past performance is not indicative of any future results. And I accept no liability for you losing your money or crypto and you should always do your own research. So the first thing you're going to want to do is sign up to Bybit if you don't have an account. If you don't have an account already, then I have an affiliate link in the description below, which depending on when you watch this, there may be some kind of promotional offer, but this may change over time. If you do sign up using this, then I will also get a kickback and this doesn't cost you anything extra, but it really helps support this channel and I will be forever thankful. But if you don't want to use the link in the description, that's fine also. And you can just go to the Bybit website and press sign up. From here, you will need to enter an email address and password and agree to the terms and conditions. Alternatively, you can also sign up with a mobile phone number or using a Google or Apple account. Once you've created an account, one of the first things I would recommend doing is securing your account which you can do by clicking on your profile in the top right. Then you want to go to account and security. Here you can configure lots of great security settings. If you scroll down to the advanced protection section, this is where you can configure two-factor authentication with the Google Authenticator app. If you haven't got the Google Authenticator app, then you want to download this on your phone. Once you have that, you want to press settings and it will then send a verification code to your email to verify it's you. Once you have this code, paste it into the website. Then you want to either scan the QR code or add the key phrase to the app. You want to remember the key phrase as it's used to recover Google Authenticator in the event of a lost device or change of device. Also make sure to keep the key phrase safe before setting up Google Authenticator. So I have now just set up my Google Authenticator. Once you've added all the security settings you desire, you will need to supply KYC information, which is pretty common across most crypto exchanges nowadays. KYC is know your customer and is to prove you are not a criminal. And so when verifying your account, you'll have to supply your address and upload a photo of your ID and proof of residence. And you can do this under the identity verification section here. For those of you who don't already own any crypto, you will need to buy some using traditional fiat currencies to use the trading part of the Bybit website. If you already own crypto, I will show you how to deposit crypto onto Bybit in a minute. If you want to know how to buy crypto on Bybit, then from the home screen, you would click buy crypto at the top. The simplest way to do this is with a one click buy. Here you can select the currency you want to deposit from by choosing it from the top drop down. As I'm in the UK, I'm going to pick GBP. To the left of this, you will key in the amount you want to spend. So for example, I want to spend 25 pounds. And in the next drop down, you pick the crypto you want to buy. As I said, I'm going to pick USDT. And now I can see a rough estimate of what I will receive. In the payment methods drop down, you can choose how you want to pay for this. This list may vary depending on the fiat currency you are depositing from. From GBP, you can pay with a cash balance if you have a balance on Bybit, Apple and Google Pay and a bank card. It's worth noting that this is generally the most expensive way to buy crypto and you will get better rates when trading. As you can also see, there are varying rates depending on which method you use with a fiat balance being the cheapest and a bank card being the most expensive. If you decide to select fiat deposit, then you will be taken to another screen with varying options to deposit a fiat currency onto Bybit. And this list again will vary depending on which currency you are depositing. It's worth bearing in mind that even if a bank deposit is available in your currency, some banks don't allow deposits to crypto exchanges. For the sake of this demo, I already own some crypto, which 
I recently deposited onto Bybit, so I'm not gonna purchase any here now. But if you already have crypto and you want to know how to deposit crypto on Bybit, you would click the deposit button in the top right. Under the coin drop down, you want to pick the crypto that you already own on another exchange or wallet that you want to deposit onto Bybit. I'm going to pick USDT. In the next drop down is a list of chains or networks for the specific crypto you are depositing. Some cryptos can be sent on multiple networks to reduce on fees and it's critical to pick the correct network that corresponds to that of the platform you are withdrawing your crypto from. Failure to do this correctly could result in lost crypto. I'm going to pick the ERC20 network and once you've picked your crypto and network you may need to acknowledge that you understand which crypto you are depositing and on which network and that mismatched information may result in you losing your assets. So I'll acknowledge that now and now you will see your wallet address for the specific crypto and network. For those who don't know, wallet addresses are a string of characters and to copy your address you can press the copy button to the right or alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. If you are transferring crypto from another exchange, you will then paste the wallet address you copied onto the exchange you are sending your crypto from, making sure to pick the same network. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount of crypto first. And it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Now, if you've either purchased crypto or deposited crypto onto Bybit, you can see this on your Bybit account by clicking assets in the top right, then clicking on your balance. On Bybit, you have multiple accounts or pots of crypto. Deposited crypto will arrive in your funding account. As I mentioned before, I recently transferred crypto from another exchange and you can see this on my funding account. So if we drill into the funding account, then you will see all your different cryptos you hold in this account. And here you can see the USDT that I previously deposited. For example, we may want to change our USDT into Bitcoin. And here you have a couple of options. Firstly, pressing convert. And secondly, through the spot trading page. I'm going to cover both in this demo. For simplicity, you can just press convert. And for beginners, this is potentially the easiest option, but alternatively, if you choose to do this through the spot trading section we are coming on to shortly, then you may get a slightly better price. So to use the convert feature, you would pick your account your crypto is on. In my case, this is the funding account. In the top drop down, you will pick the crypto you want to convert. Then you can key in the amount you want to convert. As you can see, I have 19 USDT available there, so I'm just gonna say 10. And then in the bottom drop down, you can pick the crypto you want to convert to. Below this, you will see any fees involved. And as you can see, there are zero fees with this conversion and how much of the converted crypto you will receive. You can then press the button to get a quote. And if you want to proceed with this, you can press confirm transaction. I'm not going to do this as I'm going to show you the alternative way to convert your crypto and how to trade crypto on Bybit. Before we start trading, we will need to move our crypto from our funding account to our trading account. So to do this, you need to go back to the assets page and then go to funding, which is where my USDT is. And then I need to pick the crypto I want to move to my unified trading account. And I'm going to move my USDT and I'm gonna pick transfer. I want to set this to move crypto from my funding account to my unified trading account. And I'm gonna say move all of my USDT. So I'm gonna then confirm that. And now you can see it says transfer completed and I have zero USDT on my funding account. And I now have 26 in here. I already had six USDT in here previously. So that's why there's 26. Now we've done this, we can start trading. So to do this, you need to go up to trade at the top and then press spot trading. Basic trading is spot trading. With spot trading, you are basically buying one crypto and selling the other with whichever crypto pairing you select. So to choose this pairing, you would click on the hamburger menu in the top left here. You want to make sure that below the text box, this is set to spot. Then I'm going to pick USDT as this is what I hold and what I want to sell. And then I'm going to pick BTC, which is Bitcoin, as this is what I want to buy. The rest of the screen may appear quite daunting if you haven't used a crypto exchange before. So I'll quickly run through what everything is. So next to our cryptocurrency pair, we just selected, we have some stats. 
such as the current price and some 24 hour information like the percentage change, the 24 hour high price and the 24 hour low price and the 24 hour turnover. Below this you have the chart with all your standard functionality. On the right of this we have an order book where basically when you buy crypto you are buying from someone that's selling it and when you are selling you are selling to someone that wants to buy it. So the order book displays current active orders that are waiting to be matched with a counterparty. This doesn't show historical orders that have been filled or cancelled. Below this is the order section which we will come on to when we start placing some trades. And on the right of the screen, we have the area we will buy and sell. So on the right hand side, you want to make sure this is on spot again. Margin is for advanced trading and is risky and is not in the scope of this Bybit tutorial for beginners. So below, we want to keep this on buy for now as we want to buy Bitcoin. With Bybit, there are a few different order types for the sake of this video, I'm going to cover two of the main ones, which is a market and limit order. The easiest way to buy or sell crypto is with a market order, which will buy or sell at the best available current market price. A limit order lets you specify the price you want to buy or sell at, but your order will only process if the market reaches your desired price. TP slash SL stands for take profit and stop loss and I will cover this in another video. If we click the three dots on the right here you can see the spot trading fees which are based around your VIP level and unless you're trading a lot it's very likely you will be a non-VIP which will be a 0.1% fee regardless of your order type and these fees are pretty good compared to those of other leading exchanges. So I'm now going to place a couple of orders. So starting with a market order, I'm just going to pick this here. You will key an amount in USDT you want to sell for Bitcoin. You can also use the slider, which will set the amount of crypto based on your available balance. I'm going to say sell 10 USDT to buy Bitcoin. You can then go and click buy BTC. This will then show a quick summary. Once you've reviewed the information and you're happy, you can press buy BTC. I'm going to press buy BTC. And as you can see, the trade is placed. You will now see this in the bottom section under the trade history and also under the assets where you can see I now have some Bitcoin. You can also see this if you flip over to the sell tab on the right where we now have Bitcoin. And if you want to sell this back to USDT, you could do this here, exactly the same as we did before, but in reverse, which I'm going to do just so I can show you a limit order. And so now if I flip back to buy, I've got my 26 USDT back here now. So the next order type we will go through is a limit order. So you want to click on limit here. Make sure you've set this back to buy. Whereas a market order just buys Bitcoin at the current market price, a limit order lets you specify the price you want to buy Bitcoin at. For example, you may look at the chart and you can see Bitcoin is roughly around $60,000 a coin. And you can see that a couple of days ago, Bitcoin was around $57,000. And maybe you don't want to pay $60,000 a coin, but instead you want to pay $57,000. So you can set a limit order to purchase this if the crypto goes back to this price. So if you want to know how to place a limit order on Bybit, you would type in your order price so I'm going to actually say 57,650 because that's what it was roughly at. So you would type in your order price, which is the price you were happy to buy Bitcoin at. Then you would put in how much Bitcoin you want to buy or use the slider underneath. So I'm going to say use 50% of my balance, which is about 13 USDT to buy this much Bitcoin. You can key into each one of these boxes to adjust this. When you are happy with your order, you can press buy BTC and then you can review your order and I'm going to press buy BTC. I will now have to wait for the market to reach my limit price for this to process. While you are waiting for an order to process, it will be visible under the current orders tab at the bottom. And before the order is filled, you can cancel or edit this here. I'm going to edit my order so that it's near the current market price and so that it gets filled. As you saw there, I adjusted that to 61,000 and then my order was filled. Similarly, the sell tab for a limit order works exactly the same way as we've just done, but in reverse to the limit order we just placed. So I'm just going to 
reverse my order and I'm gonna cash out 100% of my BTC and I'm gonna say sell it at 60,700 and I'm gonna press sell BTC and you can see that that was filled straight away and now you can see my money is back on my USDT. So that's the basics of how to place a trade on Bybit. And at some point you may want to withdraw your crypto off of Bybit to another exchange or wallet. If your crypto is in your unified trading account, you will need to transfer it back to your funding account. So you can do this exactly the same as we did before, just by going to your assets tab, then going to unified trading and then transfer from unified trading to my funding account and I'm just going to say all and I'm going to confirm that. Once that's in your funding account you need to find the crypto that you want to withdraw off of Bybit and then you want to press the withdraw button next to it. You will then need to populate the wallet address of where you want to send your crypto to. If it's a new address that you haven't sent to before then you will need to click to add a withdrawal address which will take you to a new screen where you can press add at the top here you will select the coin. Then in the address field, you want to paste in your wallet address of where you want to send your crypto to. Then you need to select the network or chain, which will correspond to that of where you are sending your crypto to. Then you can add a label to it and then press confirm. If you have set up two-factor authentication, you will need to enter this information now, depending on your security settings. This is so that if someone gets access to your account, that they can't just empty it. Once you have confirmed this, you will then be able to select this address on the withdrawal screen. So if I just go back to that, you can now see this is in my address book. You can then enter the amount you would like to withdraw. As mentioned earlier, it's always worth sending a small test amount of crypto first, because if you do this wrong, you risk losing your funds. Below the amount, you can see any transaction fees associated with this. Different networks have different fee amounts. And so for example, if I was to set this to Sol, you can see the transaction fee is only one USDT there. I've just flipped this back to ERC20 because that's the wallet address I set up. If you are happy for this, you can confirm this and your crypto will be sent to the wallet you specified. I'm not gonna do this for this demo, so I'm gonna close out of this. Alternatively, you may want to sell your crypto and withdraw your cash to your bank. So if you want to know how to sell on Bybit, you need to go to the Buy Crypto menu at the top, then go to the One Click Buy. From here, you want to change this over to the Sell tab. Then in the top drop down, you will pick the crypto you want to sell for a fiat currency. As I hold USDT, I'm just gonna press the max there, or you can just key in an amount. In the second drop down, you will pick the currency you want to convert to. And under payment methods, you would then pick balance. And then you would press the sell button down here. I'm not gonna do this because I actually want to keep my crypto in a cryptocurrency rather than a fiat currency. But once it's on your Bybit balance, you want to click on fiat deposit at the top. Then on the right of the screen, you want to click fiat withdrawal. Here you want to key in your amount and currency and pick whichever withdrawal method is most suitable for you. Depending on which currency you are withdrawing to, these payment methods will vary. So I'm not going to go through each of these in this video. So I hope you enjoyed my Bybit tutorial for beginners. If you have any questions, then please put them in the comments below. And if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.